What's up? What's up? This is your man, TC. This is Mr. Motivator. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. Happy Wednesday and Thursday. I just want to let you know that you are destined for greatness. You know what I always, you know what I always tell you. Yes, you are destined for greatness. And I want 2020 to be the year that you make your dreams a reality. I want you to put in the work. I want you to grind. I want you to hustle. I want you to know that you can do it. You can accomplish anything. Anything is possible. It is now time. Yes, you wrote your dreams down. You've dreamed long enough. You've dreamed your dreams over and over again. You wrote down all your dreams. You wrote down what you want to accomplish. You've been saying what you want to do. You've written it down. You say it every day. Now it is time. I'm pumped up today. It is it is time for you to impose your will. It's time for you to, to impose your will. I'm going to say it again. It's time for you to impose your will. Don't just dream about it anymore. Don't just talk about it anymore. It's time for you to impose your will. What do you mean by that? It's time for you to go out and make it happen. It's no longer talking about it. It's time for you to go out and make it happen. Like my dream is, I'm going to London. I'm going to speak in London. I'm going to speak in Australia. I'm going to speak in Bermuda and other places. I'm going to speak in Canada. I'm going to speak in the NBA, the NFL. NFL, corporations, I'm coming, I got to impose my will, and that's what I want you to do, I want you to impose your will, it's time for you to make it happen, after you finish watching this video, I want you to go after your dreams, and I want you to make it happen, and I just want to say, I, I thank you, I want to tell the whole world, I want to tell London, New Zealand, uh, Africa, South Africa, all the other countries. I'm getting messages from people all over the world. You're telling me that my motivational videos are changing your life. I want to thank you for all the messages that I'm getting from people all over the world. Uh, people are telling me from all over the world that they're going after their dreams, that their lives are, that their lives are getting better because of my motivational videos. And I thank you, London, uh, New Zealand, Germany, France, Africa, South Africa, Nigeria, uh, Philippines. I thank you for all the Mexico. I thank you for all the countries that are supporting me. And I thank you. I want to tell my Facebook family. I want to tell all my friends on Facebook that are watching this video. I love you. Please keep supporting me as a motivational speaker and keep sharing all my videos and just spread it all over. I love you. I cannot do this without you. I cannot be Become successful without you, but most, but most of all, I want to see you successful. To all my YouTube viewers, I want to tell you I love you. If you're watching it on YouTube, if you're watching it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I want to tell you that I love you. I believe in you, and I know you can do it. It's time for you to impose your will. And y'all, I can't believe it. I am officially an author. I've been wanting to write this book dream big for a long time. I'm telling you, y'all, you can dream big. You, you, you are destined for greatness. Look at this. Dream big. You are destined for greatness. You can get this book on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon and just type in Dream Big and then type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. This book will change your life. I'm, I'm People from Africa, London, Germany are buying this book. People from all over the world are buying this book. This is a powerful book. It's short. This is a short book, but it is powerful and it will change your life. I never thought I would be an author. I never thought this dream would be a reality, but now I'm a published author. Author. Maybe you want to write a book. Go ahead and write that book. Maybe you want to be something spectacular. That's what I want to tell you. You are phenomenal. That's what I want to tell you. You are phenomenal. And today's message is, I want to tell you, you defeat you. 
I want to give you a few principles that are going to change your life. The title of this message is, You Defeat You. That's what I want you to do. I want you to defeat you. I want you to be like a lion. When a lion is a lion, they have the cub with them. They have their cub with them. And they stare down their prey. When they're looking at their prey, they study their prey. They watch it. And then they take, the lion takes off full speed. And then it jumps on top of the prey. It takes his claws and slits the throat of its prey. And then the cub is there watching everything that the that 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 the lion is doing. But then when they go out and hunt again, then the then the lion turns on the turns on the cub. So that lets the cub know the cub has to learn for itself to go after its own prey after a period of time. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta defeat you. You gotta impose your will. If you wanna go to the Super Bowl, you gotta have a champion like mentality. If you wanna make it to the NBA Finals, if you wanna make it to the World Cup, if you wanna make it to the World Series, if you wanna go get a gold medal and go to the Olympics, you gotta be willing to do what other people are not willing to do. You got to have a championship like mentality. You got to have a Michael Jordan like mentality. You got to have a Kobe Bryant mentality. You got to be willing to do something you have in order to get what you've never had. You got to be willing to do something that you've never done in order to get something that you've never had. It's time It's time out for just talking about it. It's time out no longer dream about it. You got to impose your will. You got to go after it. You got to start that business. You got to go to college. You got to graduate high school. You got to make good grades. You got to take that test over again. So what? Let me tell you my flaws. Let me tell you my mistakes. I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability all throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. I flunked the first grade. I was picked on in school. I was bullied on in school because I wasn't smart in school, and so I was picked on, and I always made bad grades, and I flunked the first grade. When I got in high school, I barely graduated high school, and the teacher in the classroom, she would tell all the other students that they were going to be great, that they were going to go to college, but she over look me. I was the underdog. She told me I would not graduate high school. See, she went by what it looked like. She went by what my grades said. She went by the decisions I was making. That's what I want to tell you. Never count the underdog out. See, that's see, in the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs, they got behind. But in the second half, Mahomes wanted it. The Kansas City Chiefs turned on the gas pedal and they put the, and they put and they pushed the metal to the they pushed the pedal to the metal and they came back and won the Super Bowl because in the second half, see the first part of your life, let me tell you this, the first part of your life may not be good. You may have a bad past, you may have made a lot of mistakes, you maybe have failed but the second part of your life is going to be great. The second part of your life is going to be successful. The second part of your life you're going to make good decisions. You're going to go after your dreams. You're going to do something spectacular. You're going to do something amazing. You defeat you. So I barely graduated high school. So then I told my high school teacher, I said, I will graduate high school. I said, I will go to college. Watch this. In 2009, I became homeless, living on the streets and having to beg for food. And then right after that, I was shot three times. I was shot in the back of my head. I was shot in my stomach. And I was shot in my groin area. And when I got to the hospital, I was pronounced dead. And I remember falling to the ground. I said, I don't want to die like this. I was in a coma. I was on life support for seven days. It seemed like my life was over. And now I'm a motivational speaker. And I want to congratulate. I will be speaking at UNC Charlotte. So many doors are opening. I'm getting messages from people from all over the world. They're telling me that my motivational videos are changing their lives. I will be speaking at UNC Charlotte in Charlotte, North Carolina on March the 13th. And I want to thank UNC Charlotte for booking me to speak. And I allowing me to be on such a large platform. UNC Charlotte is an amazing university and I'm excited about the other doors that are about to open. See, you got to dream big. You got to defeat you. First principle, don't let other people 
who didn't go after their dreams talk you out of yours. I'm going to say that again. Don't let other people who didn't go after their dreams talk you out of you going after your dreams. I'm going to say that again. Don't let other people who did not go after their dreams talk you out of yours. You go after your dreams. You follow your heart. You follow your passion. You can go to the NBA. You can go to the NFL. You can play Major League Baseball. You can play college sports. You can get that college scholarship. You can get that academic scholarship. You can, you can become a doctor. You can become a lawyer. You can become a nurse or a rapper or an actor. You can be a real estate owner. You can be a musician. You can be a singer. You can be a golf player, tennis player, a soccer player. Whatever it is you want to be, you can be the president of the United States of America. Whatever it is you want to be, you can be it. Don't let people who gave up on their dreams, don't let people who settled for a job their whole life and now they retired and, 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 and now you have dreams. You have big dreams. See, there are so many people. See, Mark Zuckerberg left Harvard to start Facebook and look at where he is. Bill Gates started Microsoft and he started out very small. Jeff Bezos started out with nothing and started Amazon. Bill Gates started Microsoft. Warren Buffett started Berkshire and invested in multiple companies and look at what they've become. Steve Jobs started out with nothing and started Apple. I want to say this again. If you're going to get what you have never had, you cannot listen to people who are not doing anything with their lives. You can't listen to people who haven't done anything with their lives. You got to connect with people that are greater than you. You got to connect with people who have done great things. You got to connect with people who have went after their dreams. You got to connect with people who think positive on a whole nother level and they will tell you you can accomplish anything. You can do it. And maybe you're stuck in a negative environment. Maybe you're in an environment to where people are telling you to settle for less. Don't let people tell you to settle for less. You dream big. You go after the big things. Be the first person in your family to do something that 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 be the first person in your family to do something they have never done. You do something in your family that no one else in your family has ever done. You make history. Principle number two, it's you against you. Really, you're against yourself. Make sure you defeat yourself. You defeat you. Principle number three, success, watch this, success starts with a state of mind. Success, what do you mean by that? Success starts with a dream. Success starts in the mind. It is a state of mind. It is having the mindset to want to be great. It's having the mindset to want to be successful. Kobe Bryant had the mindset to be the greatest basketball player of all time. Michael Jordan had the state of mind to be the greatest basketball of all time. And he won six championships. Kobe Bryant won five championships. LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant. They have the Kawhi Leonard. They have the mindset to be the greatest at their craft. So you got to have the mindset to be the greatest as a CEO. You got to have the mindset to be the greatest as a business owner. You got to be have the mindset to be the greatest to be the greatest educator, to be the greatest teacher. Whatever your craft is, whatever you do, watch this. And the next thing is, whatever it is that you're doing or whatever it is that you want to do, make sure you have a passion for it. Make sure you have a love for what you are doing. Make sure that you have a passion and a love for what you want to become. Because if there's no passion, if there is no if there is no love for what you want to do, you're not going to be good at it. You have to have a love. You have to have a passion for what you want to do. If you want success, you got to see yourself as success. If you want to be great, you got to see yourself as being great. And you got to practice Repetition is the mother of skill. Kobe Bryant was the epitome. He had a crazy work ethic. He constantly worked out. He constantly worked on his craft. He constantly worked out in the gym and spent long hours in the gym. He was the first one to get to the gym, and he was the first person to leave the gym. He wanted it. Principle number four, 
Start being in love with yourself who has been through so much but it's still standing. You got to love yourself because you have been through so much. You've experienced so much pain. I'm talking to somebody who has low energy. I'm talking to the underdog. I'm talking to the person who has low self-esteem. I'm talking to the person that's in a bad relationship. If you're in that bad relationship, if you're in, if you're connected with people, watch this. If there are people in your life that's causing you too much drama, then you got to cut them off because you want to do something with your life. You don't want to live a life full of drama. Starve your distractions and feed your focus. I heard someone say, starve your distractions. Don't feed your distractions, but feed your focus. You got to stay focused. I want this year to be the year that you starve your distractions and you feed your focus. You got to stay focused. You cannot afford to be distracted because if you're going to be great, if you're going to be successful, you got to feed your focus. You got to stay focused. Principle number five, it all starts with a dream. Every greatness always starts with a dream. You got to defeat you. You're your own worst enemy. Your enemies, watch this, your enemies, your haters, your doubters, your naysayers, the people that don't like you, the people that are coming against you, your secret enemies, they cannot stop you. The only person that can stop you is yourself. Only you can stop you. Only you can defeat you. So you defeat yourself. You tell yourself, I can go pro. You tell yourself, I can play college sports. You tell yourself, I can get a college scholarship. You tell yourself, I can make better grades. You tell yourself, I can make this marriage work. You tell yourself, I can get through this divorce. You tell yourself, I can get through this bad behavior. You tell yourself, I can get through this depression. You tell yourself, I can get past this bad relationship. You can get past anything. You can defeat you. It all starts with a dream. Facebook started with a dream. Amazon started with a dream. Microsoft started with a dream. YouTube started with a dream. Apple started with a dream. Instagram started with a dream. Twitter started with a dream. And they started small. But after they dream, they imposed their will. So this is what you got to do in order to be great and successful. You got to dream it. And in order to dream it, you got to get it in your mind. And that's why you can't be distracted. Because there are so many multi-million, billion dollars ideas in your mind that in order for those ideas to come forth, you cannot be in an environment to where you're in a lot of drama. You can't be in an environment to where you're being distracted because you got to feed your focus because your mind is the limit. Greatness always starts in the mind. Everything you see in this world is it is a result of what was in someone's mind. So if you want greatness, you got to think greatness. If you want success, you got to think success and then you got to impose your will and you got to move to action and start that business. Go be a professional athlete, be a doctor, go to college, graduate high school, get that GED, make good grades, pass the exams. Maybe you failed an exam. Do you know how many times I failed? I failed the first grade. I had a reading and comprehension problem. I failed so many tests. If you look at my, if you look at my high school transcript, you will say, how in the world did I make it into college? I became homeless in 2009. I was shot three times and I was pronounced dead at the hospital. It seemed like my life was over, but look at me now. Anything is possible. You got to defeat you. Principle number six, I want you to live. This is what I want. I want this for you. I want you to live the rest of your life like a champion. I want you to live the rest of your life as a champion. I want you to grind. I want you to be in beast mode. I want you to put in 120% for the rest of this year. Watch this. I promise you, if you put in 120% the rest of this year, you will achieve your dreams in 2020. Feed your focus and starve your distractions. Even when you lose, 
Even when you lose, even when you fail, you still succeed even if you fail. Look at how many times I failed. I made a lot of bad decisions. I made so many bad grades. I done so many bad things. I flunked the first grade. I was shot three times. I was homeless. I made a lot of bad decisions in my life. But just because you fail, it doesn't make you a failure. So stop telling yourself you're a failure. You may not did you may not did win the championship, but it doesn't make you a failure. What makes you a failure is when you fail and you don't try anymore. Don't give up. You defeat you. Successful people believe the future. Watch this as I close. Successful people believe the future can be greater than the present. And they have the power to make it so. I'm going to say that again. Everybody who has become great, this is what I believe. I believe the future can be greater than the present. And we have the power to make it so. So I want you to believe that the future can be greater than your present. And you got the power to make it so. I want you to know I believe in you. I want to tell the whole world that I believe in you. I want to tell Germany, London, Australia, South Africa, Nigeria, Mexico, New Zealand, France, Switzerland, Germany. I want to tell all the countries. I want to tell the whole world. The United States of America. Canada. I want to tell the world that you matter. You are a champion. Develop a championship-like mentality. I want you to stop being negative. Stop being pessimistic. I want you to see the good in everything. I want you to be positive. See greatness in everything. In every negative situation, see the good in it. I don't know why bad things happen to good people. I don't have all the answers. But as Dr. Eric Thomas says, you can make the rest of your life the best of your life. Keep grinding. Keep working hard. Don't you give up. Keep practicing. Start that business. If you fail the test, Keep taking it until you pass. If you float out of college, get back in college. If you want to go to medical school, if you want to be a lawyer, take the bar exam. If you want to be a doctor, you want to be a musician, you want to be a rapper, you want to produce a movie, you want to be a musician, you want to be a singer, you want to be a real estate owner, you want to be a, you want to be a soccer player, a professional football player, a professional baseball player, a professional basketball player, a professional tennis player, golf player, whatever you want to be. I want you to know you can do it, but keep grinding, put in 120% and watch your life change. If you want to book me to speak, please contact me. My email address is, is on this video on YouTube. Look at, my, look at my YouTube video and you'll see my email address. And you're more than happy, you're more than welcome to book me to speak. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please support me as a motivational speaker. Please share all my videos. And I want to give shout out. I want to give love to everybody. I want to give love. I want to give my love to the whole world. I thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I thank you for sharing my videos. I cannot do this without you. I need you all's love and support. Because I care about you. I am a motivational speaker that truly loves you. I am a motivational speaker that truly care about you. I want to see you make it. I want to see your dreams come true. I want to see your dreams become a reality. I want to see you successful. I want to see you healthy. I want to see you in, in healthy relationships. I want to see your marriage restored. I want to see your business go to the next level. I want to see you achieve greatness. I love you. And I need your support. Please share my videos. And please book me to speak. Reach out to me. I'm here. If you're going through something, tell me what you're going through and I'll encourage you. But I want to tell you, forget about your past. Stop focusing on what happened to you in the past. Stop being a victim of your past. Look at my past. You know my story. And look at what I'm doing now. I use my past in the context of a good way 
to help you. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Let go of your past and only use your past in the context of helping other people. I love you and thank you. That is my time.